been considered a fairly rare tumor for many years. It's been rising in incidence, and largely in part because early stage disease is curable with concurrent chemo radiation therapy. And as a result, pharmaceutical companies weren't really interested in advancing the field. For the large part, about 65 percent or greater are cured just with chemo radiation. And depending upon the size of the tumor and the number of lymph nodes involved, um, for the most part people do very, very well. As a result, pharmaceutical companies largely, largely were not interested you know, in development. But now I think people are beginning to realize that it is a field that the incidence continues to rise. And for those patients with bulky disease, what I mean like tumors greater than five centimeters or a large amount of lymph node involvement, those patients are high risk for recurrence. And when they recur, they have to undergo a colostomy, a permanent colostomy, or an APR. And so that's why we kind of need new, new um, drugs for this field. So one of the drugs that may be pot a potential benefit is um, it's called EDXS11-001. It's a live attenuated listeria um, monocytogenes virus um, that's been um, basically diffused with an HPV E7 capsid protein. And so that is currently under development, but right now the trials are currently on hold. They're, they're being evaluated by the FDA for an incident not associated with anal cancer, but with one of the gynecological malignancies that happened um, recently. And so that's currently under review. But I suspect the trial will, will be reopened. And that's for early stage disease, so it's going to be a phase three trial comparing 5 FU mitomycin C and IMRT, which is considered the control arm, plus or minus ADXS11-001.